Apparently it's a good finale. Oh god! Let's do 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 it. Yeah, sorry guys who aren't subscribers. We did this uh, uh, subscriber only mode to prevent spoilers. If you want to be a part of the chat, it's really easy. You just subscribe. You don't have to be subscribed for like continuous amounts of times, whatever that means. You can just do it for this month. Shit. <gasps> Here it is. I'm so excited. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Oh, we'll put this. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? <gasps> oh, yeah. We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and... She doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh god, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked god. man... Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Ah! Ah! I just can't wait. I can't wait. Oh God, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, the suspense. Ah. So five, cry wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. That guy. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Mm. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Pop well, that Sheriff, bald bitch. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. 
You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. Mm -hmm. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Why not? You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation. I almost killed you, bitch. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. He is ruling this room. Jeez. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. Oof. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions. He lied! Not just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who- Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get around the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I'm not going anywhere. I ain't this going nowhere. So well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Ooh. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh my god, no! Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <gasps> That's so unfair! Oh, what the? 
You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. Son of a bitch! Like say, it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! Oh! Take, take that! Take that, Pudge! Oh, God! Like, I'm not afraid of you. It's okay, I wasn't the one who stabbed you. Come on, Ooh, shit. I know. I know. Yeah, you better run, girl. You better drive. that stab wound feel. Just happens to be some, some of his clothes hanging there. No, we ain't wasting time. 